What's up guys, how you doing? Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Uh, real quick, I wanna go over the Silverback. Um, this is a release I push on uh, seasoned shooters and new shooters uh, that don't actually shoot with correct back tension or execution. Um, so what I've noticed the biggest issue in switching somebody over to one of these releases, especially a seasoned shooter, uh, not as much as a, as a new shooter, but as soon as they take their thumb off the safety after we set it, the, the, the bow goes off, okay? The release fires the shot. Um, and what that's, what's happening is, is over the years of you just shooting, you're just drawing your bow back, anchoring, and shooting, okay? You're not paying attention to how much hold weight you have. Um, and hold weight being, you know, let's say I've got a 70 pound bow and I'm holding 11 pounds, okay? Uh, a lot of shooters are just drawing their bow back and they're holding way more than they should and this has just been something they've been used to and never paid attention to. Uh, the Silverback will not allow you to do that unless, of course, you set, set it heavier than it needs to be. So to start off with, I usually set this five pounds or so over hold weight. It seems like a good number. Uh, once you get used to it, which will be fairly quick, you probably shoot one of these five pounds over for a few days probably and want to lower it. I set mine and shoot mine around two to three pounds over hold weight. That seems to work for me. Okay, so just get used to it, all right? You have to check in on the back wall, and I mean by that is when that cam, you draw your bow back and that cam comes around and those cam stops will stop either on your limb or your cable, depending on what kind of uh, system you have, and you wanna feel where that is. So when I draw my bow back, I wanna feel that wall, okay? And eventually you're gonna build up that muscle memory, but day to day we change okay we're stronger we're weaker we're more excited especially we're using this to hunt with so you want to draw back and check in that back wall and then come to your anchor and then pull through your shot okay so that seems to be the biggest issue uh, converting someone over to a tension style release like the silverback so i'll show you what i mean so my draw process is the same except for tension releases you're going to have a safety make sure you press that safety okay if you don't you're gonna to get to whatever this is set at, let's say it's set at 16 pounds, and when you draw back, it's gonna break at 16 pounds, and that's gonna hit you in the teeth. Okay, so safety, all right? This is not your trigger, this is a safety, okay? So I'm gonna hook my release on my D-loop, okay? I'm gonna have my thumb on my safety. I'm gonna get the grip I want, okay? Get my grip, okay? I'm gonna raise my bow straight up to the target, and I'm gonna draw back and check in, draw back, check in i'm going to check in right here and now i'm going to anchor nose on the string peep thumb off to safety pull through the shot okay if you notice i'm going to draw back check in anchor nose on the string thumb off to safety pull through the shot now the biggest thing here is to make sure you have your pin and your sight and your your, your peep sight and everything lined up before you take your thumb off the safety that way, for whatever reason, if you are excited, like if you're shooting at a deer or hog or whatever, that when you do take your thumb off the safety and it does fire because you're holding a little bit too much, too much weight and you're excited, you still make a good shot. Don't just draw your bow back and have your pin and your sight aimed into outer space and take your thumb off the safety, okay? So those are the key things there. Um, you know, blank bailing at home will get you used to this before you go out and shoot. Don't just buy one and go out and shoot 50 yards, okay? I mean, if you could do it, kudos to you practice with a little bit okay less than a week you feel great with it okay so thumb on the safety get the grip I want on my bow raise it straight up draw back check in anchor string peep take the thumb off the safety pull through the shot okay if you haven't tried one of these you got to Stan makes a great one as well. Get a tension release, learn that true back tension, okay? Pulling through your shots. Get away from punching the trigger. I'm actually gonna start shooting the silver back tomorrow. I had a really rough range day yesterday myself. Um, so it's time for me to start polishing my blade again and sharpening things up. So I'm gonna start with the silver back, okay? And then eventually I'll go to the hinge throughout the uh, summer. And then if I feel comfortable, I'll go back to a thumb release, okay? Hope everybody has a good day and this helps you out. Take care.